Right, we're ready to use PowerPoint and we're going to keep things quite simple. We're going to just follow the instructions and not do anything extra. So we'll start off by creating a blank presentation. And we now have a blank screen. Now we're going to be editing the slide master at this point because that's what we're asked to do to create a slide master. Uh, so if we go to the view ribbon and click on slide master. Now you'll notice on the left hand side that there are lots of different types of slide layouts. And we're not going to make changes at this stage to the title master. What we are going to do though is scroll up the screen and here we can make changes to the overall slide master. Well, one of the first things we'll do is change the colour. We're told that the text is going to be blue. So let's change that text to blue. We can right and click here, change the font and that will be a blue colour. That will do nicely. Let's go for a bit darker actually. Okay, and then here's the bullet points. We'll do exactly the same with the bullet points. Set those to blue. We're also asked to put a blue background on the left hand side. We can do that just by putting a shape. So it doesn't have to be on the left hand side. It's just that I've decided it's going to be on the left hand side. It can be anywhere on the screen where you decide to put your buttons. So here's my blue shape. I think that'll probably be about wide enough for the buttons. So I'll do that. I'm not quite happy with the um, border here. So we'll change the shape outline so that there is no outline. And there we go. And that's just a plain blue. Now, of course, what we need to do now is reduce the size of these text boxes so that they fit on the screen. We'll align this one up. There we go. Okay, next thing it asks us to do is to put a footer in. Uh, so we'll put a footer. And it asks for the footer to be the name. So we'll go for pass first. If I uh, put a space after it and then delete that space, it will at least put the ST as sub, um, superscript. We don't need a slide number and we don't need the date. So we'll remove those. Um, I'm going to just decide to put mine over to the right hand side like that. Finally, on all the slides, we need to have a button. Okay, this is going to be the help button. So I'm going to insert a button. It's just going to be a shape. I could use one of these action buttons down here, um, but it's easier just to create uh, a shape for a button. So I'll create use a rounded rectangle. I'm going to have my help button at the bottom of the screen. A bit that big. And now I get to choose the style. So I'm going to go for uh, this black option and we'll change the colours around now. So we'll change this so it's got a white fill. Now of course with a white fill we're not going to be able to see the text that we add onto here. If I right hand click on this button here, we've got to get the correct location. There we go. And select edit text. We can now start to type in the text that we want. So I'm going to type the letters for H E L P. I'm going to highlight them and we'll try changing them to black because that is what the question asks us to do. Well, I couldn't see what I was doing, so I need to add in the letter L. And there we go, that has now added the button help. Now remember, because this is on the slide master, which is what I'm pointing at at the moment, this will apply this to all the slide layouts. So you can see that button is appearing on each of these layouts here. Final thing to do to our master slide that is going to apply to all of the layouts that are going to be used within this presentation is to insert the picture. So here we're on the insert ribbon and if we click on pictures. Now I've got the logo here, I've stored it in a folder. You will need to navigate through your folder structure to find that picture of course. Click on insert, move our logo into position and resize it. And as I resize it, you'll notice that all the other layouts on the left hand side also resize so that logo is in the top left hand corner.